Today we're going to work on the octagon applique keychain from Crashing Waves Designs. I'm going to show you that this can be done on a small embroidery machine with a small hoop. If you're just starting, this is great. I'm going to show you that you can actually make keychains on your very own. And I'm going to show you how. This is how I started on my small brother SE400. I went ahead already and I have hooped my stabilizer. We're going to go ahead and just snap it in. Something you're going to learn about me is I do like to mark where things go. Sorry, it's going to be very quickly. Quickly done. Okay. I cut things only the amount that I need because I like to get as many keychains out of my project as possible. Sorry for the sloppy lines. They mean something to me. And hopefully... So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually stitch out the placement for this. And you could do it also on the stabilizer, so let me go ahead and show you that real quick. You could just do it straight up onto the stabilizer if you want to know where it goes, like this. Then you could go ahead and place your vinyl down on top of that, you see, and you'd know exactly where your vinyl will sit. So I don't do that on this little machine, mainly because I like for it to have a tack down of the entire vinyl. So that's why I made marks for myself, because you can't skip back and forth with this machine like you can with my Janome. So that's one thing I don't like to do for this, but I'm going to show you that there's two ways you can do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it based on my lines, which is in the middle. And now we're going to tack down my vinyl, the same vinyl piece, it's going to be the same stitching. I'm just starting over again. And I'm a bit of a cheater. You could have given yourself a little bit more width to ensure that you would in fact get the entire keychain on there and not have to worry about did you get it centered correctly. So you could always do that. Okay, that's totally up to you. The next step in our project here is going to be to stitch out the frame for our applique. So let's go ahead and figure out where that's going to be by stitching this out. So now we can go ahead and see where the frame's gonna go. I'm gonna unhoop this just so that way we can go ahead and see. Okay, let me show you how this works. I'm gonna unhoop this real quick. See this? This is going to be our outline for our picture. I went ahead and chose this fabric. Um, I do keep stashes of fabric. <laughs> And I like to use them for little applique projects like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my dinosaur in the frame. I want it to sit a certain way, so I want to, I'm going to place it how I want it to lay. Let's go ahead and hoop this back on. We're going to go ahead and just float it. So the next one will be to tack down our fabric. So I'm going to unhoop this, and I'm going to show you how we're going to trim this down. If you've never done an applique before, this is going to be very helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and trim our fabric. I'm going to go ahead and use these scissors. They're curved and they've got a handle, so that way you can cut closely. 
So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna just cut as closely as I can to these lines. want to cut nice and string carefully as close as we can without busting our seams so we don't want to cut into the thread but we want to get as close to those stitches as we possibly can oh now we got one more little piece here Okie dokie, so here we go. We went ahead and finished, so now we have it all cut out, if you see that. And now we're gonna go ahead and put it right back into our machine, so that way we can do the satin stitch for our applique. Okay, let's go ahead and put it back on the hoop. And now this is going to be the satin stitching, so this is going to be the last part of framing our dinosaur here. Let's go ahead and press. satin stitching is all done so now we're going to get on to the last step before that I'm going to unhoop my project and I'm going to show you why because we're going to go ahead and put the back onto this and I like to use black pleather you kind of see it has this little I get it at Joanne by the yard in the cosplay section. So because my back is going to be black, I would like for my bottom stitching to also be black. So I'm gonna go ahead and change out my white thread. And I do all of the stuff mostly with white thread, except for when I'm going to do the bottom. Then I change it to a coordinating color or something that matches. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna float this on the back. Okay. So let's talk about how we're going to put our backing onto our keychain. So I have my pleather here and this is also my hoop. I'm not gonna take it off. I'm merely gonna flip it over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin it. You also have the option to tape it. You can use scotch tape, painter's tape, uh, masking tape, anything like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and take my pleather here. I'm gonna line it up, make sure that it's covering my keychain. We don't want to have any kind of messes up where we don't have it fully covered. So I just want to make sure that there's no lines peeking through. Okay. Now I'm a pinner, so I'm going to actually take my pins. I'm going to flip it over. And I have a little bit of overlap here, so I can actually pin this. When you pin, pin from the top. Do not pin with the pin on the bottom because if it gets caught, you're gonna mess up your machine. We must always pin from the top. So down, let's see, here we go, down, up. And we want our pokey end. Let's see, we're about, sorry, oops, going through the final one. Okay. We want them at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and move this. We got a little bit here. Oh, I just want it so it doesn't go anywhere. Alright, so we got the last corner here. Alright, so I went ahead and got it all pinned down. And I'm going to double check, make sure nothing's peeking out. You want to make sure it catches. Spread these out a little bit. 
All right, we're all set. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this back to our machine. Okay, final step. We're gonna put this back on and we're gonna let our, it's gonna tack together the top and the bottom pieces that we've got. Let's go ahead and run this final step. Okay, now that you've gotten that taken care of, I need you to unhoop your keychain, take your pins off, and tear away all the stabilizer from around the keychain. The last step on our journey is we're actually going to put on our snaps. I like cam snaps. These are a size 20. That's pretty much the standard size. Um, it's the best size, I would say. I'm going to use two snaps one male and one female piece. I also have my pliers here. I went ahead and got these. They're just drits. Um, I got them from Hobby Lobby, I believe, and I used my 40% off coupon. You're going to need one of these. It's a lobster clasp on a D-ring. I buy mine in packs of 50 from Amazon. They're $9.99. I'll link below this video. And normally I have a tool that actually comes with this where it looks like a really long needle and you use it to puncture holes. Well, I don't have it, but I'm going to go ahead and just push through the vinyl with my little pointy pieces. So I would say you want to be roughly around the middle. I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze it through. Push through like that. I'm going to guess where the middle is on this. Same thing. I just push that part through. And now this is what it looks like. You can see they're raised. I do the female piece on the bottom part. I don't know why, but you'll see that this has a little bit of a, a cusp here. And that thing is actually where it's going to sit. So this round piece is where it's going to sit in. I'm just gonna stand it up, give it a good squeeze. Now I'm going to place the male piece onto here. Same thing. I'm going to put it in here. Give it a nice little squeeze. And it's going to look like that. So this is how it should look. Now this is the easiest part. We're going to get our D-ring here. We're going to get this, slide it through. And we're going to just snap these two things together. Voila! You went ahead and made yourself your first keychain. Very cute. It's easy. Got satin stitches here. Stitching on the back. And just like that, you too can make keychains in your small size hoop.